Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a routine for golfers. So um, obviously we're in South West Scotland where we have a lot of golf courses and an awful lot of people who do play golf in the area and visitors to the area. So I know golf is very popular right across the country. So for this workout, you will need a golf club. It doesn't matter which one it is. I've got a three iron, but it doesn't really matter. Um, to use for the exercises. So we're going to start with a warm up. The warm up is only about five minutes, but it's going to be it's quite a good idea to do this warm up before you play golf. So it's warming your body up, ready. Most of us just tend to, uh, I used to play golf not so much now, get to the golf club, can't wait to get out onto the course and just go for it. You really need to consider what you're going to be doing. You do a lot of physical work, so it's best to try and warm up those muscles that you need for playing golf. So I'm going to concentrate mainly on opening up the front of the body, the shoulders, your upper back and your arms, obviously because you're using your arms an awful lot, your obliques, which are your waist muscles because you're doing a lot of twisting, and also this hinge action that you get into to hit your golf club. Okay, so that's the bits we're going to focus on. So let's get you moving a little bit. So just stand with your feet slightly wider then hip width distance and just holding the golf club in front of you. So we're going to try and get a little bit of mobilisation into the spine. I'm just going to do it sideways so you can see. So we're doing a roll down initially but I don't want you to go very far. So engaging your tummy, keep your knees soft, drop your chin to the chest and just create a little curl. So get into that upper back mainly and slowly come back up. And again, breathe out, drop the chin down and slowly come back up. And let's do it one more time. And then back up. Excellent. Okay, so holding your club out in front of you. This time we're going to twist. So we're just going to swing gently to one side and back to the centre and to the other. Now I want you to let your body go with it. So normally when we would do a twisting, we try and keep the pelvis still. At this point, I just want you to swing, pushing your club round, just to get some movement into the waist. And once more to each side. But try to keep your feet firmly connected to the floor. Now bring your club up above your head, sorry it's disappeared off the screen, and just side bend. So just warming up your oblique muscles. A couple of times to each side. And back up. Excellent. Again, bring the club out in front of you. We want to focus on your shoulders. So we use the shoulders a lot when playing golf. So we want to try and get to open up that upper back area between the shoulder blades. So we're going to try and pull the shoulder blades apart and then bring them back together. Squeeze them together and then release. So out to contracting them and pull them back and squeezing. So I'm going to come down to my knees and just pop it back to a little bit so you hopefully you can see the squeeze, release and then pull the shoulder blades apart and release and squeeze and release and then yeah. Good. Nice to have a little bit of a stretch before you start to play golf. A good way to stretch as we warmed up your waist and your shoulders a little bit is to use a club. Put the club end into your palm and hold the other hand, the other end of the club, the hand bit, the other hand. Keep your hips facing forward and twist. So follow the club head round and just push your club into that arm and then come back to the centre. And repeat. So push, so you're getting that nice stretch into the front of the shoulder. And release, and one more. And release, and then swap sides. So again, club head into the palm, level with your shoulders, and push. So using your left arm there to push your arm back, get opening up into the shoulder, Keeping your hips facing forward and your feet firm, knees soft. Again, three times. 
and one more. And then release it down. So we're going to just stretch the legs a little bit. Stretching is very important. Remember, this is what you should do before you start to play golf. Don't think of it as a normal Pilates warm-up routine. It's getting everything stretched. Bringing one foot forward, rest your hands on the other leg, and then just flex the foot so you're pulling towards you. If you're a little bit wobbly on an empty for surface, just use a club to give yourself that bit of balance. And then change sides, so swapping it over. So the leg comes forward, you drop the hips down, hinge at the hips, so you've created that nice hinge shape, right angle of the hips, pulling the knee towards you, sorry, the toes towards you. So looking to feel the stretch here. And then the last stretch is a quad stretch. So you grab hold of your foot. If you're on the court, on the course, and a little bit wobbly, again, just use a club to help you to balance. I'm standing on my spongy mat, which is making me very wobbly. Make sure you bring the knee back behind your hip, so you're feeling the stretch down the front of your thigh, and obviously the other side. I'm very good with my right leg. With this stretch, oh, you get wobbly. I'm going to use the bar. So you could use the car if you're doing your stretches out of sight of your components. You can try and get the edge on everybody else. And then nice. Excellent. Okay, now coming down onto your mat. Oh, let's just move the camera so you can see me. Down a bit. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to sit with your legs out in front and your knees bent. And we're going to come back to the shoulders. So try and keep your hips and shoulders in line, arms out. So you're going to reach the arms forward, again, putting those shoulders forward and back. Squeeze the shoulder blades and release and forward and squeeze and forward and squeeze. Now with your club, take your club above your head and stretch right up towards the ceiling, pulling the shoulders around your ears and then let your shoulders drop. Up around your ears and then draw them down. So try to warm up those back muscles again. And relax. So pop your hook down, come on to hands and knees. We're going to move down into the bleaks. So as you're on hands and knees, make sure the hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So letting your tummy drop completely. Oh, perhaps you've got a tighter t-shirt on so that you're relaxing these muscles here. Then slowly engage your tummy and arch your spine and push up. And then relax it down. Again, just letting the tummy drop. So it's a bit like a cat stretch, but we're doing it more for the obliques than for the spine. And again, arch. Then find that neutral position. So you're not arching or letting the tummy drop and pulling your tummy muscles in. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do a little rocking movement by coming forward and back and then taking the hips back and forward and back. Not all the way down, so you're really moving into those hips because this is the bit where you need that hinge movement for your correct stance on the golf course. So forward and back. Now I can add a little bit more to that to make this into a little routine. The last little bit is to tuck your toes under and do a little knee lift. And down. So let's join that together. So we're going to go forward and back. Toes under and lift. Down, forward and back, tuck under and lift, relax, go forward and back, toes under and lift, and last one, forward and back, toes tucked under and lift, and rest, just 
stretch out. Excellent. Now just come to lie down on your mat, on your side, bending your knees, but bringing your knees right up. So you've created a right angle at the hip, right angle at the knees. We're just going to stretch out. So hands out in front and float that arm up. Follow with your eyes and reach over. And then bring it back. And again, up and over. Keeping the hips still, knees tight together, and release, and one more. And back, and then repeat on the other side. So I'm going to actually put my back to the camera, which I don't normally, just to roll over, knees up, because I want you to see how far I'm going. So I'm trying to take that hand right down to the floor without lifting the knee or your hip. Obviously if you can't quite get to the floor, don't cheat by lifting your knees because this is the bit you're wanting to stretch out. This is all to help you with that swing, your golf swing. And then back. Excellent. Okay, on to your back. So we're going to do a little bit more work on these abdominals, abdominals even, can't say that today. So get yourself into neutral and just cross your hands across your chest, tucking the chin in. We're going to start with a little abdominal curl. So keeping your pelvis still, spine in neutral, don't squeeze your bum, breathe out and curl head and shoulders, look to your knees and slowly down. Breathe out. And breathe in. Keep going. Another three. Try to initiate it from here, not your neck. So I know when the hands are here, it actually makes it a little more challenging because your arms are quite heavy. And one more. And down. Excellent. Now, using your golf club. Take the golf club over your head. Same thing, but combining the movement with your arms and the golf club with that abdominal curl, float the golf club up as you curl up, bring it to your knees or thighs, and then back down. Up and over, and release. Get watch for that lower back sinking. And just lift to the tips of your shoulder blades. And let's go for one more. And back. Now, this time we'll make it a little bit harder. So you curl up, bring the club to your thighs, hold, bring your arms level with your ears, back to your legs. And then back to the floor, keeping the shoulders down. So curl up, arms to your ears, back to your thighs, and all the way down. Hold the curl up, arms to your ears, thighs, and all the way down. Let's do one more. Hold to your ears, to your thighs, and all the way down. Excellent. Have a little breather. So just draw the knees in, just to release your tummy muscles, and let the head turn from side to side. Just your basic release movements and release stretch. Excellent. Now let's come up into sitting position. <coughs> So we're going to use the club again. So holding it with your hands slightly wider than the shoulders, keep your feet flat and your legs bent. We're going to try and keep the pelvis still. So we're going to start with a basic half roll up. So into the tilt, roll back halfway, hold, breathe out, round forward, and sit up straight. And 
tilt. Roll back, round forward, and again. And one more. And out. Now, the, one of the important things about your golf position, which after your golf swing, is the hinge movement that you have to get into um, before you swing your club. So we're going to try and work into the thighs and into your core to help you with that. So holding your club out, keep your back straight, and literally just hinge back. So you're not going to see curl and then come back up. You might get a little shake, a little shake is okay. And hinge. And back. Two more. So obviously the golf club is adding a little bit of weight, which makes it a little bit harder. And last one. Okay, let's do a little twist with it also. So this time I want you to change your grip on your club. I want you to turn, say your left hand up, keep your right hand down. And then just twist, center, twist. So we're gonna go all to the right to start with. So we follow the palm down as you're twisting. And four, center, and swap hands. So I've got left hand down now, right hand up, and twist. I'm only doing sets of four, but you could obviously do a few more. Depends on how much you want to improve your goal. So you could aim for between eight and ten repetitions if you want to. And then back. Excellent. Now we're going to join that all together. The legs are doing the shape and feel it in my thighs. So we're going to do a twist, a lean back center and repeat. So we're going to hold the club this time with your hands a little bit closer together. Right hand down, left palm, actually I'll do it the other way first way. So you've got your right, your left palm down, right palm up. So this time as you twist, I want you to bend your elbow, bring it in, come back to the front, lean back, same side, bend your elbow this time, lean back, Bend, feet firm on the floor, lean, last one, and change sides. So it's always the palm down when the arm is leading the twist. So bend the elbows, and lean back, and twist, pushing that a little bit more. Particularly if it feels tighter than the other side. My right side is always my tightest. And again. And back. Well done. And relax it down. Stretch the legs out. Feet mount with the parts. Lift up out of the hips and stretch forward. And come out of it gently and repeat. You can reach your feet, go for it. If you want to use your club, give yourself a hand and hook the club around your feet and gently pull. I'll just turn around so you can see lightly. So you're just hooking the club around your feet, hinging at the hips, trying not to bend your spine and bring your chest forward. A little gentle pull on the club. So it's just giving you that little bit extra stretch. I can feel it in the calves, the hamstrings lower back because that's the bit we want to loosen up and come out of it gently and one more so hook it round and gently so hold the stretch you now a good 20 seconds if you're feeling tight at first stick with it so you'll get a point where you can actually feel the muscles give in and you can go out a little bit And then come out of the chair. Excellent. So, popping your club down, we're going to lie down on the floor and just bend your body back the other way. 
Of course, with your shoulder bridges. So feet a bit closer to your hips, hands down by your side. So tilt, squeeze the glutes, lift up into bridge, hold. Now as you hold that up position, press firmly through both feet, squeeze your bum, press your hips to the ceiling, and then roll back down. And back to neutral. And again, tilt. So this is quite nice to do as a little release after those uh, abdominal exercises. And slowly back. However, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on these oblique muscles again and this twisting. So we're going to come up into bridge position and hold. Now it's a very small movement. Your hip bones, find your hip bones, they're going to be your focus. I want you to relax one buttock and push the other one up. Come back to the centre and twist to the other side. So let it come from the glutes as well as your waist. And again, aim for about probably six to eight repetitions on each side. The higher you keep your hips, the better. So squeeze to push up, relax to let it drop. So you're squeezing, relaxing, squeezing, relaxing. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release, and then roll back down slowly. Hip flexor stretch, your release stretch. Well done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that nice little workout. Didn't want to make it too long. You could incorporate these specific exercises which are aimed for golfers um, in with another routine or one of our others that you've seen online. Um, or you could just do it as a one-off, maybe twice a week in between your trips to the golf course. Hope you enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed that. It was quite good, a little bit different for me because I don't do tendency to do golfing exercises. So it felt a little bit different, quite good. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hopefully, we'll see you back in the studio soon. Bye, everybody.